Station is expanding its operations. Popular Discounts has already started construction on what will be its biggest outlet to date. Kent Gerson has that story. The newest Popular Discounts supermarket will be here at Kendall Hill Christchurch. Work has already started and more than 100 people are expected to find employment at this site during the 15 months of construction. The other two popular discounts already in operation are at Spooners Hill and Spry Street in St. Michael, making this new one the first outside of that parish. It will also be the biggest, with more than 23,000 square feet of supermarket space and over 170 parking spots. General Manager Jacqueline Donovan says it's a response to a plea from customers for over a decade. She says management saw the Kendall Hill location as ideal to service customers and potential customers in the southern and eastern parts of the island, who have been asking them to develop a location closer and more en route to and from home. Ms. Donovan also talks about how many jobs this supermarket will create. She says they are also extremely pleased that when the supermarket is complete, it will provide upward of 100 additional jobs that will afford opportunities to a number of people. According to her, the neighboring community has been very supportive, with residents looking forward to the opening late next year. Kent Gerson, CBC News. CARICOM has strongly objected to the recent decision by the European Commission to blacklist a number of its member states' as tax havens. It was on the pretext that there is no cooperation on tax law enforcement with the countries of the European Union. CARICOM says the assertion is patently false in view of the continued efforts made by member states to comply with the regulatory measures put forward by the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development, or the OECD. In a statement, the regional grouping said it is surprising that during the recent CARIFORM EU summit meeting in Brussels on June 11th, an issue as detrimental to the economic development of CARICOM as the blacklisting of a number of member states was not tabled by the EU but announced subsequently. The Caribbean community, for which financial services are of vital economic importance, has therefore expressed deep disappointment and grave concern at the conduct of the European Union. And here now is a look at how the stocks performed locally and regionally.